Hey YouTube, GR here, doing a video response to Colin Outdoors. It's his three year anniversary, and he's decided to do a giveaway, uh, which is really awesome. Today's day and age, everybody's tight on money, and for someone to give back to the community is a really cool thing. I'm hoping to do one for uh, uh, you know myself in the future. So, I've been watching Colin since like the beginning. He's one of those guys. It's just he's one of the people that answer every single response, <laughs> and. Uh, he, I've talked to him on numerous occasions in the past about gear and just in general about some things, and he's always been a nice guy, um, really cool guy. He has those type of videos where uh, if I'm doing some work, um, if I'm polishing my uh, my knives or cleaning the gun, I'll just you know on the laptop I'll pull up his videos and watch them. It's kind of a relaxation thing. Just uh, always has a good set of different videos, really good information, really entertaining. So um, one of his requests. Um, to enter uh, a certain portion of the contest were to do a video response and he had mentioned a uh, possible EDC so I thought I would do that for him um, to get the this out of the way right I'm gonna get one of the items out of the way um, pretty quickly because I don't think he could uh, carry I think he's in Scotland and I don't think they allow uh, firearms carry so I'll just go ahead and get that one done and uh, off the table it has been safety checked before so um, just so the uh, YouTube police is uh, satisfied it, it has been safety checked just so you know uh, firearms a Glock 26 holster is a Kydex uh, a holster um, made by a guy named Alan Miller uh, works pretty damn well I like it um, you can see the design uh, this pointed tip is basically designed to snag on the pocket so when you pull the weapon out the holster does not come with it works very well it's never came out of the pocket uh, with the holster attached to it so that's that's a good thing when it comes to a pocket holster um, <clears throat> it's got a good positive snap uh, Glock 26 nine millimeter very reliable um, I've got about 500 rounds through it it's treated me very well um, I love it um, coming around to the sights I did change the sights myself they are true glow TFOs um, this is a hybrid sight which is both it does it takes two of the uh, common um, like sight materials which is fiber optic and like tritium and it combines them so you get a really bright sight picture. They're very, very bright in person. Maybe on camera you don't see that, but uh, very, very bright sight. They work pretty well. I like them. <clears throat> Spare magazine. Um, coming to the knives real quick. Uh, there's four there. I don't carry all four. Um, it depends on how I'm feeling that day and if I want to carry heavy or light or things like that. Um, first knife, Ontario Rat. Big knife very sharp got it for a super super good deal um, super super sharp and uh, but it's just on the big side um, but I love that knife um, second knife it's kind of like an exotic knife um, this is like <laughs> I paid a lot for this knife I shouldn't have but uh, it's one of those things that I wanted but now it just sits in my drawer almost um, it's a CRKT uh, Hisatsu which is like a self-defense knife as you can see the uh, unique tip shape it's kind of like uh, <laughs> you know, it's got like a a change of direction on the blade right around there, which makes it a pain in the ass to sharpen. Um, I haven't even sharpened it yet because I barely use it, so it's still razor sharp. Um, very, very sharp, but a pricey knife and kind of heavy, about like five and a half, six ounces. So these are two heavy knives. When it comes to the light stuff, I have a Kershaw Oh So Sweet, as you see here. Uh, very, very quick to open, very light. Um, not G10 scales, though. Um, it's a little slippery, no jumping up top, but... Um, for what it is, you know, it's not bad. Pocket clip is pretty decent, but as you can see, it's got some wiggle to it. i got to tighten that back up. Uh, I think I did tighten them. They just keep them getting loose. Um, but I'll have to check that out again. So, uh, also, this being one of my first uh, bought knives of a decent quality, when I went to sharpen it, I don't know if you can see that, there's some score marks in the uh, blade surface itself because I was a moron and I didn't know how to sharpen I put some scour, uh, some some score marks into it so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm hoping to mirror polish that blade also uh, Colin just did a a blade polishing um, video I'm hoping to pick up some flits and try what he uh, what he did and see how that comes out I've had some mothers uh, I use some mothers like wheel polish in the past it worked pretty decent but I think this is gonna be a little too deep for that um, <clears throat> last knife that I may carry is a Kershaw Chill. It doesn't open as fast as the others, but it's super lightweight. It's got to be like one and a half or two ounces. Um, G10 scales. Very, very nice knife. This was dirt cheap as well, like under 20 bucks. Um, no reason not to carry a good knife if you can get them for 15 Yeah, you know, I think it was like $16 on Amazon with free shipping. <clears throat> one of the items I've gotten um, 
I, I pretty much, I think Colin made me buy this. Uh, Squirt P4. This is like, you know, he. I believe he has like, uh, I think he, I forget, he has a Squirt. I always forget which one it is. I think it's the one with the scissors, though. Now I think they make one that does both. It has the, it has the pliers and the scissors. This has the pliers in it. This is a great, like, I, this has saved my app. This has saved my butt many times. Um, it does have some rust forming inside, so I need to take it apart. Now, I've seen Colin take apart the full-size stuff, but this, I don't know, this is going to be a pain in the butt to grab these little end screws with, like, pliers. So, but a great, 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 great piece to have on your keys. Um, 4.7 Spreon, super bright, got it on sale. You know, that's the whole theme of my, uh, my channel, Survival on a Budget. So, um, that thing is great, really, really bright. Um, I love it. Phone is an Android. It's an Evo. Um, it's definitely outdated at this point. I have an upgrade coming up. Uh, the battery life is really kind of crappy on that phone. So it's time to, to move on to something else. and haven't decided what yet. A uh, decent pair of sunglasses, but I need to upgrade those as well because, I, I don't know, I just don't like the way they fit. Um, spare mag. I think I already mentioned that for the uh, for the Glock 26. Max Edition's wallet, uh, as you can see here, which I can't stand. I'm kind of on the fence about it, but the, bill, you see, the problem with the, the wallet is... Where the bill, where the billfold section is, not that I have a lot of bills on me at all time because I'm a broke bastard. Um, it's almost the same exact size as like the bill itself. So when you go to shove them in, they get they never fit just right. And you're you know when you're like if you're checking out at a line in, in line someplace, um, and you go to shove the money in real quick, it's just like a ten hour it's like a ten hour process. You got to get them in there just right for the just so they don't get all wrinkly wrinkled up. Um, laid over the wall is my first attempt at a. Uh, paracord uh, wristband came out all right um you know it, a friend helped me do it and uh you know i watched some of colin's uh colin's videos um he he's like a master at it i kind of suck at it but that was my first one um i'm gonna try again in the future and see how it comes out but uh you know that's about it also um something i want to work into this setup eventually is this um is something that colin recommended to me um i wanted a low price leatherman at a good you know that, that good quality but a you know a budget a budget leatherman and so i went with uh the blast um i this has been sitting like for like a month or two <laughs> i've had this thing for a while now you know and i haven't opened it yet because i want to do a review on it but uh this i'm hoping to work into this setup um you know it's got a nice little pouch and stuff like that but uh you know colin recommended that uh, i believe like months ago to me like I said, just for the price, it's one of the, one of the better ones. The only thing I wish it had, um, it doesn't have a thumb openable knife. Like I think you have to open it and like literally pull at it. You can't just one hand open uh, a knife. If that had that, it would be perfect for me. Uh, it would be perfect in general. But you know, in the future, I might go with something different. But I haven't opened that yet, so don't even know yet. And I believe that is the complete EDC for me. Uh, I might throw a chapstick in there every now and then, but uh, that about does it. You know. Um, so. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Anyway, uh, you know, if you guys, I just want to uh, thank again for uh, thanks Colin again for uh, you know giving away stuff like so that's really really awesome to do. Keep on uh, keep on doing those videos, man. I hope you get another three years of videos because uh, you put out some quality stuff and uh, you seem to be uh, you know, doing well. The channel seems to be doing really well, and you're a really nice guy. So just keep on doing what you're doing, man. And uh, everyone have a good day. Gr out.